And guess who our sponsor is? Is it White Claw? Black Cherry. I just double gunned it to you. Never double gun. That's like a... What's that saying? I don't even know. If you double gun, you're a predator. Have you ever double gunned? No, I don't double gun. Do you ever single gun? You ever see somebody in the street and you ever double gun them? Never talk to that person again. Predator. Would never even do that. Hey, Biz. What do you do? Get him shoot. We're going to start with episode one just a little bit because, you know, you haven't joined us uh, since episode two, I guess. Um, Hannah B. Hannah B. Coming back in the mix. I, and we, we have to talk about her. I don't want to talk about her too much, though, because yeah. she doesn't need any more attention. I like to think of conspiracies and, and stuff. So um, I read on Twitter, which you're a big, a big uh, mogul on that, that in Hannah's contract that she signed the first uh, for her to be the, the Bachelorette, that she had to come back for one appearance in the first episode. So you think those were fake tears? I think, I think she is a phenomenal actor. I don't think that she had any part of emotional anything. I think, I think it's complete bullcrap. Oh. I don't like how I said bullcrap either, trying to keep it, keep it PG. Bull they need, they need to bleep it out. There's, yeah. Bull yeah, no. Bull okay. Enough about Hannah yeah. B and the drama <clears throat> between, uh, you know, Hannah B and, and Peter. Should we jump right into Champagne Gate? Let's go to Champagne Gate. Champagne Gate is, is uh, obviously the the main topic of <coughs> the second uh, second episode, and um, I don't know the IQ of too many too many girls or humans, if that if that matter. You don't you can't drink champagne right when it's popped. You can't take the whole bottle because once it hits, you know it's you're getting, exploding. You're getting a little angry. Have you have Could, you seen it? Who saves a champagne bottle for a year? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it's not wine. It's it's not, what's it called? Screaming Eagle. A lot of people thinking that, uh, you know, the rise of the sea level is because of <laughs> global warming. Um, I think it's because of all the tears that are going down in The Bachelor. And one in particular, Victoria F. Oh, man. She hasn't stopped crying the entire two episodes. Yeah, no, she, uh, I mean, she's playing. There, when you look at The Bachelor, it's, there's roles. Every, every person has a role. It's kind of like a hockey team, actually. Um, you need a crier. You need a a pot stirrer, you need a, a front runner that's never gonna win, you need a convict parents, you need somebody in jail. They're I'm the closest team. thing to a convict in this track suit you right are, now. Yep, you actually this is actually you, a Genny Malkin, so he, he lent it to me when we, he came to yeah, we, we Arizona. Just, we just posted your bail. If you didn't, <laughs> literally 10 minutes ago, we just posted his bail. Who would be the most emotional guy on the team? Who's the crier? Who's the On guy? our team, or no, sorry, sorry, your team. I don't play yeah, for the Coyotes anymore. <laughs> um, uh, that's a tough one. Crier, crier, crier. In a good way, like yeah, maybe yeah, after like games, like, yeah, yeah. like, way to go, boys. I love you guys. I mean, I think, I think Chick, Chick's, it's not, he's not, a, it's not like a, uh, he's like a sulker. He's, he's, uh, he's so intense and fired up that I think that he would, oh. if I blocked a shot with like two seconds left in like a big game that he would, he he'd would be, up. he'd be crying oh. and saying that he loved me. And I love and I love that. As if he wasn't perfect enough, Kelsey. Yeah. She's probably in the she's probably in the clubhouse right now as a leader for for the straight jacket. Yeah, she's she's up there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if she can compete. I, I I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there. My I did this last year. It didn't work out, but double down. I'm going as Hannah Ann as my my winner, and you know I'm going against my own my own heart, because you never whoever th you think is going to be the, f the winner in one or two, they don't win. But I'm going against the, it. I, I believe it. I believe JD's term was, or no, I think it might even be Brad Richardson's. They fizzle off. They always fizzle off. Hannah Ann has had a very strong beginning. Another girl who's had a strong beginning beginning is Madison. Now she was the basketball player, quick humble brag, right? quick humble brag in uh, episode one that she'd won four state championships. <laughs> no, she didn't go home. She not only did she go on the hometown no, the date hometown in the first party. episode date, um, the the whole renewing the vows, the parents doing that and on the first date, like they're setting it up like it's WrestleMania. They're still in the high school gym here. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that I've I've had. 
I've had to talk to our team doctors. I've I had like <laughs> six or seven nightmares about about her dad. Her dad gives me give creeps me out. I don't like him one bit. And uh, that whole that whole scenario is so poorly done. I think once again back on I'm going back to We're Twitter. not being haters either. It's We're just I thought it was a little aggressive. This is what everyone talks about. This is but, everyone thinks it. We talk about it. But then this is, the show. This is where I was okay, they, they bonded very well. Then the second episode, he gifts her a picture from that experience. So I'm like, oh, he's sending her gifts for episode two? This it's, might be the dark horse. Once again, it's it's we're not talking I'm not gonna buy into your questions. I'm buying into the underlying reasons that ABC the producers are giving them it's 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 a this whole show's a mimic. So two of the girls we've already talked about, Victoria F. and Hannah Ann, go head-to-head. -head. Who do you think was the winner? Hannah Ann, without a doubt. But, I mean, here we go again with the pity card. The pity card gets you a rose every time. Um, it makes me sick, but uh, the show's not about me. Um, talk about, you know, here's the one thing. <laughs> No, I hate when they have the saying, I have a turtle, like I'm in a turtle shell. I'm in a shell. You're not, you're, you're a human, one. You're not a turtle. You don't have a shell on you. All you have to do is, you don't have to open up anything. There. You know, my other second favorite, the gate, I got to let my guards down. What do you have, full-time guards <laughs> guarding your heart? Once again. One other thing that I, I jotted down here that I thought it was funny, Chris Harrison asking Peter, right before this, uh, the introductions, this is episode one again, uh, if he's over Hannah B, knowing that she was going to end up, she was going to pop out of the limo last. Yeah. He's just stirring the pot. Like, he is actually maybe the biggest pot stirrer of all, like, all of, of all time. I think it would only be fitting to mention another one that I thought was a little bit crazy. Being in Vancouver, she's from Langley, British Columbia, which is not very far away, uh, McKenna. And she has been just, oh, she can't stop talking about her and Peter to all the other girls. Yeah, something about Canadians are, are usually pretty crazy. River, please edit that out. Natasha, uh, the NYC girl, they all have attitude from NYC. They call it exactly how they see it. And she went right up to Peter, she goes, I ain't having this Hannah B sit you. Get rid of her. That was, can we do that, do it again? <laughs> That's nice. I like her calling out, Peter. I mean, let's be real, she's, Hannah shouldn't be on the show. We all know it, it's for the ratings. One, actually one other thing about the first date, Kelly, she cheated on the, on the, the group challenge and ended up winning some time. She ended up meeting Peter at a high school reunion months before she was gonna come on the show. So she had already met him and had that advantage coming in and you can clearly see that it, it is a massive advantage. Yeah. He likes her. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a little bit of rant here. One coincidence. <laughs> We've all called a hotel before to see who's staying there. Have we? <laughs> Have we? Um, complete complete coincidence but then she did she did cheat in the in the obstacle course there just straight line fun fact for you the fastest uh, way to get from point a to point b is a straight shot i don't know if that made sense but it is straight way anyways she cheated wins the group date as her prize she gets to fly in a world war one two-seater plane that has the 25 percent chance of staying up in the air for longer than one minute we can't get peter a normal plane they push started that they literally the producers are going there and then it, yeah and and it got it's not properly washed you need fa fa what is that faa washing not peter with the shirt off washing it like what, thought, what happens uh, you can't see lanny we're going down oh no it's fogging up Oh, sorry, because Peter was rubbing his freaking chest on it two minutes ago. You've been thinking a lot about this. <laughs> I told you I couldn't sleep for six days because of, <laughs> of uh, what's-her-name's dad. That, that's a wrap. I mean, I don't even know how we're going to top that off. <laughs>